Hello. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. I just hit the record button. My name is Cassandra, AKA the Daily Wealth Ninja. And today in this video, it's not actually going to be a training like I've been doing. I'm in the middle of, <coughs> excuse me, getting over being sick. <coughs> I'm in the middle of a training on margin. However, I just learned a new strategy with one of the tools that I have access to because of the membership that I have. And I wanted to share that with you today. So basically this is like a web analyzer, right? Basically what happens is it connects to different brokers, which if you don't know what that is, I have a, a five day boot camp that goes over the basics of Forex. So if you want that, be sure to go to uh, facebook.com forward slash daily wealth ninja, and then send me this message five DBC to get that information. So basically what this web analyzer does is it pulls information from different brokers <clears throat> and says, hmm, based off of some calculations and mathematics and things like that, that you don't have to worry about, uh, here is what is happening. So this particular web analyzer, um, there's other tools that I have in my, in my pocket, but this web analyzer will ding every time something, something is going to happen. Now, obviously it's not telling you to get in or get out. It's just saying, Hey, you might want to look at this trade right now and make some decisions about it. And so before I get too deep into this, let me make sure that you can hear me. I am live. No, Perfect. Saying. Okay. So let me go ahead and share with you what's going on. So let me share my screen. Okay, so this is the tool. As you can see, it has on the right side over here, um, maybe you can't see it. Oh, you can't see my mouse. Okay, um, let me try it this way. Oh, that might not work either. Ugh. Okay, so on the left side, far left side where the red and the greens are. Um, these are basically calls. Um, they're not like, hey, you should buy, hey, you should sell. These are, hey, based off of our calculations, this particular um, uh, currency pair is likely to be making a swing, making a, a particular type of change. So the strategy that I'm using today is actually um, going to be <coughs> um, using the Ichimoku cloud and uh, some knowledge that I already have about basic Forex structure. And so I wanted to go through one of these live with you today. So right now we see that there's been a potential sell on GBP AUD and a potential buy on NCD JPY within the last hour. And there's a few more. But I wanted to touch on the most recent one just so you can see what it looks like. So first of all, on the left side, it says it was called at 1.79319. And um, like I said, it was 20 minutes ago. So I'm going to click on the little, um, mm -hmm. it looks like a magnifying glass. And unfortunately, you, you know what? I'm going to change this. Hold on. There. Now you can see the mouse. <laughs> What a surprise. <laughs> <coughs> so you click on this little, um, whatever I called it, and it will bring up that chart into what you see here. So this is basically like a trading view. Um, it's basically trading view. And right now I have it on Dr. Kathy's ECC 11. This is a specific strategy that uses the Ichimoku cloud, which for those of you that are not aware of this particular um, indicator, the Ichimoku cloud is like the be all end all of most indicators because it tells you what's happened before, what's happening now, what's potentially happening in the future. It is, it literally means something about like, um, something like foreboding future or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's developed by a gentleman, I believe in Japan. He spent like 20 or 30 years working on it and it's flipping amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and take this GBP AUD back over to my actual trading view because that's where I do most of my analysis. So let me make sure that it looks okay. Cool. All right. So we're going to go to... GBP AUD. And actually, let me um, change my video here real fast to trading view. Uh, and I guess make this again um, display capture. There we go. All right. Okay. So this is actually a little bit um, on the 4th of August, another call was made. Uh, but we're not going to do that one. So I'm going to go ahead and actually make this a little more transparent. 
So that way there's not confusion about this particular thing that I want to show you today, but for my own um, stuff, I want to keep it. All right, so going back, we see that it was made on, come on, oh, what's up? Oh, there it is, okay. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this so I don't keep flipping back and forth between the two things. All right, so it was made at 9.30 my time. So we want, so what I'm doing is I'm coming over here on the left side. Um, I'm coming to the trend line tools and I'm choosing cross line, okay? So I'm gonna put this at 9.30, 15.30. I'm going to make this super bright yellow. I'm leaving it on this particular thickness and changing coordinates to represent 1.793193193. Okay, so right here where it shows this cross is where the web analyzer made this call, all right? So <clears throat> it is saying that it's gonna be an indicator and this, look, this may look kind of crazy to some of you, um, but basically what's going on is, let me do this green, castomatic, is that I have both the candles on, so that's this little piece right here, and I also have a um, indicator on. Uh, let's see, for Haiken, Haikenashi. Yeah, Haikanashi. So the reason for this is because Haikanashi is amazing. If you don't know what it is, I've done a training on it before. Let me know if you want it. Um, otherwise, if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be linked somewhere <laughs> at some point. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so Haikanashi candles, um, the reason why I love Haikanashi candles is because it actually, t <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm so sorry. It actually tells you, um, you know, if how the price is moving, if it's if it's going in a buy direction, if it's going in a strong sell direction, um, it, it's just amazing. So let me now that my thing is pulled up. Oh, I want this one. So here's here's what I'm talking about. So right here you can see that there's actually two colors of candles. One is this light green, one is this dark green. Here's a red thing, here's a green thing. So what you're actually seeing is your candles, which is the light green and the lighter red. And you're also seeing a dark red and a dark green. The light colors, the light green, the light red, are the actual candles. The dark red and the dark green are the Haikanashi candles. So I have the candles on top of the Haikanashi so that I can see not only how the price is moving, but how the trend is looking with those Haikanashi candles. So as you can see, um, there's a gap between the Haikanashi and the actual candle. And I use this for many reasons, but I'll get into that in a minute. So what I wanna do first is I'm gonna actually turn that off so it's not so confusing. And so now we have just the um, candles as well as the Ichimoku cloud. Okay, so from there, this is my process, okay? So I will actually go up to the four hour, sometimes the day, depending upon what's going on. Um, actually, so let's go ahead and look at the day. So currently, day is in a downtrend. We can see that it's actually, it may have just turned into an uptrend. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my parallel channel, which you can find over here on the um, trend line tools. And I'm going to turn on my magnet, have it tag at the very top, turn off my magnet, and then work on getting as many wicks as possible on here. Bring this down, use my magnet. Okay, 
but I'm also going to change the template here of it to the daily so that I can recognize the color, dark blue. So as you can see, it's going in a downward angle, but <laughs> it could potentially be about to break out of there because um, as you can see, there is a, so here's the low, right? We have a higher high than this one. So it might be doing something like this and breaking out, okay? But for now, it looks like it's actually holding here and it's gonna go back down inside this channel. All right, so that's the daily. If we go to the four hour, and actually let me go back. So I also put in the support and resistance lines for the different um, time periods using this green line right here. So in Ichimoku, there's like several different pieces to this. The ones that we're looking at really um, is this green line, which is a lagging indicator. As you can see, it matches how the um, green line looks, right? So that, green, that bright green line looks very much like this green line right here. So it's a lagging indicator. It's saying how the price action has been moving and is moving currently. This is called the Ichimoku cloud. It's currently down, right? Um, and it's red. So this is indication that we're currently in a downtrend. <laughs> um, the blue line, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's your baseline. And then your red line, which is basically um, uh, what's happening right now. <laughs> I'll go, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I'll go into more specifics at another training, um, but for now, we'll just leave it at that. So I actually use the lagging green line <clears throat> to put in support and resistance lines. So first thing I do is I look for where it's bent. So this one would be one. Let me take off the magnet here. And you can see that here is where it bent. Here's where it bent, and right along that line is kind of where some candles have begun to consolidate. So that is going to be where I put one of my lines for daily. Going to change the template. Okay. And then I do at least one above and below, just so that I know where things are potentially heading. So this one on the daily. And this one looks like a good one. All right. <clears throat> so from here, I go down to the four hour, take a look at what's going on. Reset the screen. We see that we're still in the daily, but if you zoom in, right, we see that it's consolidating within the four hour, right? It's moving left and right. Yes, it's going up and down, but it's basically staying in one little box, okay? So it's basically staying in that range, right? So it was up here, kind of stayed in here, dropped this level, bounced around, dropped again, and now it's bouncing between these lines right here, okay? So most likely, it's going to keep doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a box to remind myself that, hey, We are potentially still in consolidation. And green is my one hour, so I'm just going to lock it and leave the color as is. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit longer. So go to coordinates, change this to a larger number. That's fine for now. OK, so again, <clears throat> um, I am not yet going to put in, actually, you know what? I probably will. Let's do that. So right now, we have another parallel channel. Right about here.
Oh, I needed that. Change that to the four hour. And also change the box since we are not in the one hour, but we are on the four hour. Oh, I don't have it, so we'll change that. I believe it's hot color, maybe. We'll go with that color for now, it's fine. Okay, so I have, I now have the daily trend, excuse me, daily um, <laughs> channel, and I now have the four hour channel. So I can expect price to continue going down at least to here, right? Now, obviously it can go up, it can go down, it can do all kinds of things, but based off of historical things, this is what I see happening right now. It's going to continue to go down, um, possibly even go hit the Ichimoku cloud or further based on the daily chart here. Okay, so I've done that, oops. Now, come on. Now I'm gonna do like what I said before, right? I'm gonna add in the support and resistance lines. So, so far the daily um, has been a long time coming down, right? I'm not gonna add another one here because we already have the daily. I'm same with this one. I could add an hourly, excuse me, a four hour here, but I'm not gonna, um, just because it might confuse everybody watching this later on. Um, plus we've got a long way to go before <laughs> before that, that hits there. <coughs> Um, I could put some more in here, but I have a feeling that I'm probably going to see more um, stuff happening when I go to lower levels. So we'll just we'll just do this one for here. Yeah, this one looks like a good one for now for the four hour, just so that we can see what's uh, happening here. Four hour. Okay. So now, why did I why did I do that? So. It hit the top of the green, right? It was about where the green bounced. And again, another support and resistance line, but specifically what I think is super cool about this is that as you can see, of course it's a little difficult now, this candle came all the way down almost to where the support resistance line is. So we know that it's trying to break through, but having a problem right now, okay? That's what long wicks mean. All right, um, four hour. Again, we could put that up there. So let's go ahead and do one more right here. And so now we have a four hour support and resistance, four hour support and resistance, daily support and resistance, just so it doesn't, just so it makes clear uh, what is going on here because I know once we start adding more stuff it's going to look a little confusing all right so we've done the four hour we're on the one hour okay so the one hour looks like it's going to go down I'm not going to add in another parallel channel because I'm fairly certain it's just going to keep going down in this four hour channel just just based off of historical stuff going on <clears throat> all right I don't see anything really sticking out at me on the one hour. Um, but again, we can see that here, the candle had a very large wick all the way up to the four hour. So I am going to just put it probably right here for the one hour and leave it at that. One hour, boom. All right, zoom in. Okay, all right, going down to the 30 minute, same deal. So on the 30 minute, it looks like it's in consolidation again, just in this one section, right? So, Right about here is where it looks like we're in consolidation. Oop. A 
lock that. We'll make this. This is 30 minute. Do I have a 30 minute template? I do not. Uh, I believe 30 minutes are orange. Yes. So this needs to be orange. Again, just so that I know what they look like, or rather, um, which time frame they're supposed to be. And then I also changed visibility. I didn't do on the last one, I forgot. Because I want it up to 30. I don't really want it in the higher ones because it just gets kind of crazy. <clears throat> All right, so right now it's beginning to look really, really not a good um, entry because it's in consolidation on two of the upper time frames but let's go ahead and keep looking let's see anything lower this might be for 30 minute okay now why did I put this here a couple of reasons all right so you can see that I tried to overlay it on top of the blue line here because this blue line, which I believe is called the baseline, this acts as a support and resistance. So if you see a flat line like that, that's a good indication, like right here, that that is a support and resistance zone, period, all right? So I could add another one right here. And if I zoomed over, I would probably see price moving around that area, moving between zones, which I do. I see it here. It broke through on this one. Bounced along here, right? So this is a good support resistance line for the uh, 30 minute. Okay. So now that I've done all this markup charts on the higher levels, right, I'm going to go down to the 15 minute because the strategy that I'm going to be sharing with you, while I've heard it works on all of them, I am not a swing trader. I am more of a scalper-ish slash intraday trader. I want to get in, I want to get out, okay? So as you can see, again, we are in consolidation a little bit. Uh, let's see how many pips is between here. <clears throat> we still have a lot of room to grow, right? We still have like 60 pips between the up and down of this box. So let's talk about what's, what we're seeing here. So the call was for a sell. So let me put that in. Uh, we'll do it here. WA sell. Oops. WA sell. I want to run 15 and lower. Okay. So it says it's a sell, but right now it's showing as a buy. There's a couple of things that could be going on about this. We'll go over that here in a second. <coughs> All right. So I continue looking to see what's going on, right? So we're still within this box. Um, on the 15 minute, this looks like it's a support and resistance. So we're gonna add that. Hey Delia, hey Jamie, thanks for joining. So I have added this red line to show the one of the 15 minute uh, support and resistance lines right here. Um, I'm not going to put one up here just because it's above the daily and this is actually 60 plus pips, which I don't really expect it to go that fast. It might, you know, these are all 15 minutes here, so it very well might, but I'm not going to for now. I'm just going to leave that as there again. I'm not trying to make this a crazy graph. I'm just showing you what I do and, and how <coughs> this works for me. What I find interesting is that the call, right, this call that the web analyzer did acts as a support resistance right here. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I've done the 15 minute support resistance. Um, it looks like there is 
a possible channel through here. Change that to show the 15 minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom in. Move some stuff around. All right. So what are we seeing here? We see a very, very long wick on a buy candle. That means that it started out down here right, your OHLC that I've, I, that again, I have shared <coughs> um, in my five day boot camp. So send Daily Wealth Ninja 5DBC to get that information. So it starts out here. It goes all the way up to where it hits that point right there. So that is probably a support and resistance line. And actually it, it tried to break out of this support and resistance line, but came back down. So your buyers, ooh, cha-ching. We'll select that one real quick. So <coughs> your buyers went all the way up, but your sellers were stronger and have gone back down to here, okay? So that's what that means. And right now, we see that the Ichimoku, somewhere around here, the red became lower than the blue, which indicates a sell with the way that I have my Ichimoku set up. And that's what happened, right? We see a sell happen, do, 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 do. Uh, I'm figuring things out. And right about here is potentially where it's going to turn into a buy, okay? So what else can we see here? So we can also use Fibonacci to try and figure out what's going on with this. So here, bring it down here and make this a little bit bigger. Coordinates. Let's make it 300. Let's make it 310. Okay. So, not only did it come up here, it almost hit the 618. All right. So, for those of you that know about Fibonacci with, with trading, when it comes down here, the 6.8 is generally the average place where it does its pullback and then it comes back down and keeps falling. All right, so this looks to be in alignment with that web analyzer cell, okay? But we don't want to we don't want to do anything just yet because it still has room to go back up and um, kind of kick and either a break out or b possibly stop you out depending upon your stop loss and you know appetite for risk. Which, by the way, again as you see above. Um, Past results not not typical and do not guarantee nor dictate your future success. I am not a licensed financial advisor. I'm simply sharing with you the education that I've been using with the membership that I have to an incredible platform, mentors, community. It's just awesome. All right, so just just uh just saying. <clears throat> so as you can see, we also have a trend right now that we're looking to see it break. So this line that I just drew, the price is bouncing off of it. So until, until it breaks this trend line, I probably won't get in it unless there's some other indication that I should, like right here this blue line is coming down, right? <clears throat> uh, and there's other things. So it's getting pretty close. It's currently, let me go ahead and zoom in to show you. So we can see that the price is currently trying to break through, right? Because here's the wick. It's here and a little bit lower. Okay, so that's the wick. You, you might not be able to see it from where the, let me do this. Okay. So you can see that the wick 
has already tried to cross the line. So it's a pretty good indicator that it's probably going to keep falling. Now, <clears throat> now that I've prepped the screen for the 15 minute, I want to go on a lower one because right now the Ichimoku is indicating that it's a sell, right? We have, I forget what line it's called, but the red line here, the baseline here, so that's indication of a sell. We have the cloud red and the price below the cloud indication of a sell. Okay, so let's go down the 15 minute, or excuse me, the five minute. So again, we're still in that cons consolidation. And on the five minute, we're actually inside the cloud. So this is any man's game right now, okay? So we see here that it changed from a sell to a buy, which it did, right? It went up. We see that it changed here to kind of where it consolidated because both of them are here, right? But at the moment, it shows red above, blue below, and price below. So again, while the, the lines are indicating a buy, we have other things that are happening that are supporting that, right? We have the trend line from the, from the 15 minute, and the price is bouncing off of that. It's being squeezed, actually. So if you look, this is a triangle pattern, OK? <coughs> now two things are going to happen, just like every, every other time that you're not talking about Forex, right? It could break up here and go up, or it could break here, do a pullback, and go down, all right? This is a triangle pattern, so be sure to check out um, the different ways to trade those. I believe it's going to keep going down based off of all the indicators that are happening right now. And as you can see, it's actually coming out of that triangle right now anyway. <coughs> um, all right, so there's not really a whole lot I can do with additional lines here because this one, right here. This would have been where a line was, but it's pretty close to several different lines, right? Um, same with these up here. So I don't really, I'm, my intention is not to confuse myself or to confuse you. Um, these lines are simply to remind me, hey, you know, this line happened on this time, and so at the 15 minute mark, you know, it's doing something else. <clears throat> that's all that's for. So right now, I'm pretty sure it's going to keep going down at least to about this level, 1.78995. So that's could be potentially a little more than 10 pips for you, right? Um, but I keep looking even at the lower levels because I want to make sure, see, look, this one's on a sell. We see that there's a TK cross right here from buy to sell. We see that the price is below the red lot, before below both lines and below the cloud. So on the one minute, it's a sell. On the five minute, it's a mixture, but looking like a sell. 15 minute, still a sell. So <clears throat> that's it. Um, I'm actually going to put in my own trade here. I'm not going to um, say what it is going to be because it's going to be, it needs to be based off of your account size. Please be sure that you use proper risk management so that way you're not wasting your money. Start out with demo, by the way. Do not start out with, with um your actual real money, because this is your money. You don't want to play with your money, right? You want it to work for you. So do it in demo. Make sure you calculate your pips correctly. If you're not sure how that works, let me know. I have a training on it. Um, send me a message or whatever works for you. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and check the um, comments. Make sure there's no questions. I don't see any. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me today. I will be sharing next week the rest of the training about margin. This was one of those things where I am just so excited about the the uh, system and the new training that I that I just went through this past weekend um, using one of the tools that I have access to that I just I wanted to share this like as soon as it went ding. 
cha-ching. Because <laughs> seriously, that cha-ching has made so many people so much money, so many pips. And again, past results are not typical. They do not guarantee nor dictate your future success. I'm simply sharing with you what's possible. So if you want to learn more about that, it, it is an educational system that teaches you, teaches you about Forex and crypto. It's a system that gives you tools like this web analyzer to help you pinpoint trades and make better, inv better financial decisions. It gives you access to over 60 plus live hours each week by mentors who are doing the thing and are doing it well and have been very successful. And you get access to community of other Forex and crypto traders. I mean, who wouldn't want that? So if you would be interested in more information, just let me know, send me a message, leave a comment, whatever works for you. I'm going to hop off and do some more trading, and then I'm going to go to bed because it's getting late. So um, except for those who want to uh, trade in London, which is, I believe, 2 a.m. Eastern. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day. If you liked this video, got some value from it, please like it, share it with someone you think should hear it today, and have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day. Thank you.